In today's video, I want to give you the top 10 litter hacks that every cat owner needs to know. And let's get started right now. Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, my name is Jessica. I am the furry family coach. I'm a pet parent coach. My channel mainly revolves around dog training, dog behavior, dog nutrition, and canine enrichment, but I am a pet parent coach and I have had cats for many, 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 many years. Actually, more years than I have had dogs. So <laughs> I have a thing or two that I know about cats and I want to share that with you in this video. If you are new here, again, thank you so much for being here and please don't leave without hitting that subscribe button. When you do, click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. Thank you all so much for being here with me today and let's get right into top 10 cat litter hacks that every pet parent needs to know. So let's start with number 10. So this is something I actually talked about on my other channel recently in a video. And so I wanted to share it with you guys here as well. So cat litter boxes, cats get in and out and they tend to track litter everywhere. Now the solution in the pet store world is to buy a litter mat. And while I have owned many a litter mat, over the years <laughs> that I have had cats, I continue to have a multi-cat household, so I have many litter boxes. And litter mats can be quite expensive. And what I have found is that using a yoga mat instead still helps to grab all the litter off of their paws when they get out of the litter box. And they actually like having the yoga mats around. In fact, my oldest cat, Sasha, she loves her yoga mats so much. She actually fights me to pick them up off the floor when I need to clean and when I need to sweep. She loves being on her yoga mats so much. So I highly encourage you to give those a try. They are so much cheaper and they cover a lot more surface area than just a traditional litter mat. Number nine, your litter box needs to be big enough for your cat to fully get inside of and be able to turn around. So there are two things that are really important with this. One, having the litter box big enough for your cat, of course, is incredibly important. So don't have a little kitten sized litter box and expect a full size adult cat to still use that same size litter box. Also, you're going to need room around your litter box so your cat can be comfortable and move around. So maybe your cat gets all the way in the litter box, but their head needs room to stick out over the litter box and you have it pushed up in a corner. That's not going to be the most comfortable thing for your cat. So be very aware of how your cat likes to use the litter box and make sure you are giving them enough space. Which leads me into number eight in this video. Make sure your litter box is not in a super tight or enclosed space. Your litter box needs room to breathe, and here is why. While you may prefer to have your litter box out of sight, out of mind, what is happening is that this is, this is a safe space for your cat to go. They don't like strong smells. So if you have your litter box in a closet or locked up in you know, a litter container, you know, may, they may look pretty, they may look nice with your decor, but they're not going to be convenient for your cat. Your cat may not like them and it may actually cause litter box usage problems if the smell gets too much and your cat just doesn't want to go in there. So make sure you are giving enough room, enough space. Don't put it in a, you don't put it in a tight or enclosed space. You need ventilation for your litter box because we don't want those smells to get trapped in there and we don't want your cat to not want to use the litter box because they're offended by the smells. Also, your cat needs a safe place to go. So if you have a multi-cat household and there's only one way in and out to get to the litter box, your cat may not feel safe at all times going to the litter box. That could also lead to improper uh, urination or defecation outside of the litter box because your cat doesn't feel safe enough to be able to go to the litter box if there's only one way to get in or out. So make sure you're keeping all of these things in mind with litter box placement. Number seven, and this one is so huge. I don't understand why people are not cleaning their litter boxes regularly, but you need to be cleaning them regularly. And that can vary depending on how often your cat uses the litter box and how many cats you have in a household. But let me tell you, I have a multi-cat household and I clean my litter boxes 
I mean, six, eight, 10, 12 times a day, depending. If there is a litter box that has been used and I'm walking by it or I see it, I stop and clean it because one, who wants to use a dirty litter box, right? If you're going to the bathroom, you don't wanna walk into a bathroom that has been used and not cleaned, not flushed, right? So you don't want your cat to start having feelings of not wanting to go into the litter box. Keep your litter boxes clean, guys. This is going to be so beneficial, not just for your cat, but also for you. Why do you want the stuff, these smells lingering in your home? Keep those litter boxes clean regularly. Number six, we're on number six now. Choose your litter scooper wisely. For many, 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 many years, I bought just the cheapy plastic litter scoopers and they break often, regularly. Plastic is not designed to use forever, especially in these items like litter scoopers. They get brittle and they break and it's frustrating and you wind up buying them over and over and over again. But this, this litter scooper has been the best litter scooper I have ever had hands down. This is not a sponsored video. This is literally a product that I found and purchased on Amazon and I will put a link in the description below. And it has been the best litter scooper I have ever had. Give it a try. <laughs> Number five, you need to choose a litter that works for you and your cat. Don't forget that part. Has to work for your cat as well. So there are so many litters out there on the market. There's wheat, there's pine, wood, crystals, uh, clay litter, corn litter, pellets, newspaper. I mean, walnut, grass, the list just goes on and on and on and on and on. There are so many different kinds of litter out there. So I do recommend that you try different litters and see what works for you, see what works best for your cat. And every cat is different. So I have a multi-cat household and let me tell you at this point, I have one, two, three, I'm using four different litters right now and I have been for months and I don't see uh, 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 me not using these four different litters for quite some time. Here's why. All of my cats are different. I was using a litter that I decided, I realized a light bulb went off in my head. I was using a corn based litter and a light bulb went off in my head that cats ingest litter. Like they're not just indiscriminately eating out of the litter box, but they get in the litter and they get all that litter and litter dust on their paws. And when they get out of the litter box at some point, they're gonna groom themselves, which means they are ingesting that litter. And guess what? Corn causes inflammation in the body. So it just, a light bulb went off in my head one day and I'm like, I can't continue to use this corn litter. I decided to try a whole bunch of different litters. I know I hate clay litter. I hate it with a passion. It is what it is. If you like it, you like it. If your cat likes it, go for it. But I tried a whole bunch of litters. So now I have four different litters that I'm using because my cats have shown me that they all prefer different litters. So the one that I am tr I'm hoping to transition everyone to at some point is a grass litter. I really like this one. It is, it scoops easy. It's a lighter weight. Give, give different litters a try is what I'm trying to say. Ultimately, you need to find something that works for you and your cat. So make sure your cat likes it. All right, number four, scoop the litter yourself, guys. Seriously, scoop the litter yourself. Don't buy one of these robot litter boxes that scoops everything for you because what is happening in the cat's litter box where they're urinating and they're defecating, this is the biggest indicator of what is going on in your cat's body, your cat's health right? Cats are, they are amazing at hiding the fact that something is bothering them, that they're hurting, that they're in pain, that something is wrong because that has been ingrained in their, in them genetically over since, since the beginning of time, since cats were invented, right? Because when they show weakness, they are vulnerable to predators. So they know it is just genetically ingrained in them to hide weakness, which means if they're not feeling good, they're going to hide. They're not going, they're going to do everything in their power to not show that they aren't feeling well. So it is all about survival for your cat when they are not feeling well. So 
you need to be the one scooping out the litter box so you can notice if there are any changes and you can contact your veterinarian if you do notice changes in the litter box and they're in the amount they're using it in colors and consistency this is going to be your best indication of how your cat is actually feeling all right number three do you use a covered litter box or do you not use a covered litter box? Now, people may prefer a covered litter box because it traps in odors, but that is exactly why you shouldn't necessarily use a covered litter box. Again, we talked about this earlier in the video, Cats don't like strong smells. And litter boxes are plastic, by the way. Plastic is porous. It does, over time, trap and hold in smells in the plastic itself. Now the plastic, just having the cover on the litter box is of course going to hold and trap in smells. So this may cause an aversion for your cat to use the litter box and that is not something you want. So I would actually say, I would recommend just in general to stay away from covering those litter boxes. All right, number two, we're almost to number one. We're almost there guys, but number two, all right? Make sure, rule of thumb, however many cats you have, you have that many litter boxes plus one more. So if you have four cats, you need to have at least five litter boxes, a minimum of five litter boxes. This is a very good rule of thumb and I cannot imagine having less. So make sure no matter how many cats you have, even if you have one cat, minimum of two litter boxes in your house, okay? Got it? Good. All right, number one, one. I don't know why I was doing that. It's number one. Nah. Number one, nothing else matters. If your cat doesn't want to use the litter box you've chosen, the litter you've chosen, nothing else matters. Find a litter box that your cat likes. Find a litter that your cat likes. Nothing else matters. That's, that's the bottom line, guys. Try different things. Try things that you think you're going to like, and hopefully your cat will like them. But guess what? If your cat doesn't like it, ultimately up to them. So that's, that's, that's what I'm leaving you with. Number one rule of everything is if your cat doesn't like it, it's not gonna work. So find something that your cat does like. I didn't think I was gonna stop at 10, did you? Nope, I've got a bonus tip for you guys. Listen, cleaning out the litter boxes, which most of the time we're talking about scooping out the litter boxes. I know I already talked about that, but actually physically emptying the litter box getting rid of the old litter, emptying the old litter out of the litter box, discarding it, cleaning, washing out the litter box with at least dish soap and hot water, drying it out, and then replacing with fresh litter is so incredibly important. I recommend doing this at least once a month with every litter box you have. You and your cats will thank you for it. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that these 10 tips are going to help you out, especially if you're new to having a cat or you just have no idea, this is gonna be a very good video for you. So let me know in the comments below if you knew any of these, if you didn't know some of these, if you have questions about any of these or something else, let me know and post in the comments below. Also, I love seeing pictures of your pets. Pictures, videos, send them to me. You can find me on all different kinds of socials. Definitely tag me on Insta. My handle's right down here. And if you haven't already, I don't know why not, click that subscribe button. When you do, the bell will pop up. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way, YouTube can notify you every single time I post a new video. Also guys, if you want more cat content, you gotta let me know. Post in the comments below. Let me know if you want more cat content because I know my, my channel is primarily around dogs. And I think that's because so many people ask me dog questions. I am a dog trainer, but I do know a lot about cats too. So let me know, post in the comments below if you want more cat content. This is your opportunity, cat people. Post and let me know. All right, let me go ahead and get out of here. Thanks so much for being here with me. I really appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.